place is called Dragoons, and I think it's like also then there's the name of a ranch up here by that name. We're, we're going from pavement to not pavement anymore. There we go. So I understand this is quite a long road, um, and I should just be patient. So I won't. Come over to this side. Maybe there's a little less washboardiness over here. It was like, sir, good times. Nine miles, someone. Nine miles, I'm pretty sure. Down this road. It's a little mysterious, right? Because of all the fog and rain. But we're definitely in high desert, I see, <clears throat> as far as um, foliage and all that kind of stuff is concerned. We just passed a really cool looking ranch, and it's called Lazy Bones Ranch, and now I'm passing a street called East Peaceful Drive. I think that's kind of cool. Rad. Oh, somebody's behind me, and... There's another van passing. Sorry, dude. You are welcome to go around me. I'm driving really slow. Oh, he was turning down peaceful, whatever. All right. Turn this around so you can take a look again. Crazy, crazy. People live down here, too. So, I mean, there have been some private residences that I've seen. And here comes another one, right? Oh, I can see the mountains through the fog a little tiny bit. Oh, this is going to be exciting when everything lifts. Morning, everybody. Uh, I am sipping my coffee and listening to the wind and not too much rocking going on. I may have angled the fan well. I mean, now that I say it, right? going to happen. We are at a spot that we got off I Overlander, but we sort of went down a little further on the road. So it's um, Dragoon BLM. Anyway, really cool spot. I believe in the Coronado National Forest. It's beautiful. I cannot show you, but I think I was, I think we're surrounded by pin oaks here. Maybe. I think they're pin oaks. I'm not sure. And then there's tall grasses, right? You saw that, right? But everything was all fogged in last night, right? It rained a lot. We were told this winter storm was coming through, so I knew I, I knew we were going, you know, no matter where we went, we were going to get hit by this thing. Um, I just was kind of hoping it would be someplace party, and it is. I mean, it was nice that I got to paint that up at Gas Peak. Not Gas Peak. I keep calling it that. It's not. It's Gates Pass. Gates Pass. Gas Peak is in Nevada in the Desert Wildlife Refuge. Oh my gosh. Which is another beautiful, beautiful spot, by the way. Great spot to camp. Um... Yep, free, 14-day, whole, whatever, right? So, great spot. This was not a spot you could camp. It was a sunset lookout in Tucson Mountain Park. I remember. I am very proud of me. Uh, met some pretty awesome people that day. Hi, Charlie, if you're watching. That was the painting I did that day. And this is Alamo Lake. And we have 
dome rock and my Joshua tree is coming along pretty good here it is this is the spot we are parked in. I know, I don't want to glare out this. But isn't it so pretty? Look at that. Oh. It is so crazy windy outside. I would like to try to get out there, but every time. And I gotta wait for my coffee to finish. <laughs> but that's my view out the van window for now. I could open up the back window to look. I'm trying to decide what I'm going to paint when I'm finished with this baby. I decided to take a nap because I had such a rough night's sleep. And it's so cold. And I'm conserving fuel. Yeah, I just woke up and this is what I just woke up to. Uh, yeah, I think that's, um, snow on my windshield. We're in Arizona! This wasn't supposed to be happening. Nugget does not usually snuggle in the middle of the day. She has been all cozied up to me under the blankies. Look at that sleepy face. I mean, I have to get up to pee. I know I do. But I don't want to get out from under the blanket. I'm going to have to put my heat back on again. Crap. I've stepped outside because I'm going over to go hang out with Joanne for a little bit. So, uh, but while I'm out here, I thought I would get some video for you guys. Look at this place. Holy cow. <clears throat> Unbelievable, look at, insane. New York was supposed, oh my God, Duders, can you do it? Can you make a poopy? Can you just outside like a big boy? Oh, like a big boy do. Oh, wow, look at this beautiful light that's coming in the sky right now. Oh, I wish it wasn't so damn cold and yucky out there. But look at this beautiful view. Oh, 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 I am so glad we camped here. I may be almost out of gas. I have so little money left, if any, really. I just got a little something to get me out of the negative zone, which I was so grateful for. What a fucking gorgeous view I have. I mean, it looks fake. I'm not kidding. It looks fake. Wow, I got it. Look, you gotta see this. Just look at those mountains in the distance. Do you see them to the left there? How they look fake. I know. Look at this insane view out my van window, people. This is just right out the van window. Ah. And look at the gorgeous light in the sky. All right. I, I guess I'm going to have to, like, put on my winter coat. Uh, honestly, this is a scene I thought I would never see this early in my journey without insulation. <laughs> oh, look how gorgeous the sky is. There's Joanne's man. Oh, look at this place. I know. Insane, right? Oh, it's not far from Tombstone, Arizona. We're going to hang out here because it's all icy and yucky. and I mean, that is all ice on the road. Whew. I am not willing to drive my house on ice. So, no urgent need to move. Oh, wow. I took lots of images, so as the snow melts, I will have images to work from. So all of you clamoring for snow paintings, you may finally get one. <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, so I know I do have a winter coat for all of you who've wondered. I just didn't want to take it out of its really great storage. Wow, I see what she was talking about now. All right, so this is Nugget was getting stir crazy. She has to be outside. Anyway, um, I was saying something. I can't remember. Sorry. I got distracted by this cool black streak. So, Joanne noticed it yesterday, and we think that as the ice and snow melts, we'll get a tiny little waterfall. It may just be a trickle, and that's all we get, but um, let me carefully step over here and I will show you what I'm talking about. So this, ooh, I'm going to zoom in, is what I am talking about. You can see it is definitely a place where water runs in the rains and snow melts. Look at this. Just great little spot. Oh my gosh, do you guys see that? Look at those mountains in the distance. Those must be the sky mountains the guy was talking about. Holy cow! That is so cool! They look like clouds, but they're not. Look, I mean, you can see the sun on the ground there in the... Wow, I'm going to zoom in a little more. <gasps> wow. Just look at that. It's so cool. <sighs> oh, wow. That is a really cool outcropping right there, too. Look at that baby. What? I know. I need to do that. That's a painting right there. Ba -dum, ba -dum. Well, I have not talked about this for a while because I haven't had to worry about it being in the desert as long as I've been in the desert. But this is the, the third bunch of towels that I have shoved up there and are completely drenched. I've gotten as much off the um, roof as I can get off the roof and reach um, before my hands got numb. I'll go out and do more in a little bit. I've done all the quick fixes. Now, I've had four different people from different parts of the country say exactly the same thing. And I have done what I can as far as all of the possible quick fixes that are possible to do in order to put off doing this job. The reason why I'm putting off the job, here's the job. The leaks are coming from the fact that the frame that holds the windshield is rusted um, pretty thoroughly through. There's a lot of body work involved in replacing the windshield at this point. As far as prices go, you know, looking at anywhere from two to three grand with all the body work, because all that has to be replaced. It can't just be patched and fixed. It has to be replaced. And there's like, I mean, this, there's so much corrosive rust on this van that to replace anything is like it's opening up a can of worms that is truly not it's good money after bad let's put it that way um as much as i would love to say that this van is worth putting that kind of money into it's not um the mechanic i got it from would say exactly that he's shocked that i've gotten it this far for $3,000, I can find another vehicle to live in. And I don't have $3,000 either way. I don't even have $200 to pay my freaking bills with. Yeah. I have to live with this, whether I like it or not. I have to make do with what I got.
So I'm using towels to soak up. I have siliconed the crap, bondoed the crap. I have done everything I can possibly do to seal up these leaks. Water is finding its way in whether I like it or not. Ah, oh, my van vent is done. I have to be finished with it because I have to live in this and I have to be happy with what I have right now. That's what acceptance is all about. You know, I'm just taking a lot of deep breaths. That's what I have to do. What do you want, Bean? You want my lap? Here, well, come here. Come. No, she wants to go back outside, which I'm not doing because it's too cold. <sighs> I know. All right, well, I'm going to put this down. I'm going to get to work. Um, it's cold. It's fucking freezing. It's hard to get stuff done. I can't turn my lights on because I'm below eight. I'm, I'm like at 18% power. And I need these clouds to go away so I can get some sun. I need this ground to dry up a little bit so I can put my panels out and not have them become ruined. There's a lot. I'm feeling it right now. It's like, whoa. It's absolutely gorgeous where I am. Um, and I'm struggling with all the dripping that I'm hearing. And I know. Things are getting wet. I think I see a drip, and I am unhappy if I do. Maybe I don't. Maybe I'm imagining it. So we have a climber. Or two. He's got a buddy down there somewhere. And they are going up, up, up. How cool is that? We each have our panels out. That is a towel I am hanging to dry, hopefully. Ah. <sighs> This ice is melting, so is the snow, but look how gorgeous everything is. Just lightly touched. A little bit of ice and snow everywhere. Look how pretty that little spot is up there, too. I might have to take a hike up in there later. We're going to spend the day here for sure. Yeah, there's no point in going anywhere for a little while. Both of us are like, <laughs> this is, uh... and as much as I hate being parked at an angle like this, it makes getting things accomplished in the van tricky for me. Um, uh, better that I'm at an angle for the ice and I smelt to get off the van faster. So. <sighs> Ooh, look at this guy go. He's hauling ass. So I did it today. I managed to finish my Joshua tree. So I'll put the picture of that right here for you guys. And I also did this little one of our snow-covered morning that we had here. And uh, just, I wanted to do something to remember this spot by, because it was so beautiful. And there's still more I'd like to do of here. Um, but for right this second, I'm pretty whooped. This was a lot. Um... And, uh, yeah, so it's been, um, I, I 
I say it again, I'm just so grateful to be able to be in such beautiful locations, to be able to paint these gorgeous landscapes. And I'm so grateful to all of you for keeping me going through all of this. Um, and I know it's not easy and sometimes it doesn't look like I'm doing much. I know. And I can't always be, um, policing and explaining, uh, my actions at every move. Um, but I do my best to show my progress and in hopes that that's going to be enough. Um, it's enough for me. You know, I know how far I've come in all of this. And I know what my body is capable of and what it has a difficult time with. Yeah. So anyway, mm -hmm. that's what's finished today. I'm very, I'm, I'm pleased with what I was able to get done today. Yeah. Yeah, so while we were eating dinner, this was happening. Oh, hey, dude, get out of my sunset shot. So awesome. Wow. I mean, we saw the color coming on the rocks, but I got to tell you, I was not expecting this. Well, good morning, everyone, and look at this gorgeous sunrise. <gasps> look at the mountains in the distance. What? So pretty. Yeah, and it's a little chilly for me to be out there filming. I want to keep my hands today. And yesterday, I really dealt with a lot of numbness, and it made for a lot of difficulty for me. So, and I have to drive out today. Um, I am coming back. Um, but I'm going to go run errands for us so she can sit still and get some work done. And I'm going to go to town and put a little gas in my gas tank and get a couple things for her. So... Hopefully, before I get there, I will sell a painting or two. Be nice to ship out a painting from Tombstone. So I don't know how much of this approach that I videotaped when I was on my way in here. I uh, honestly, like, this is one of the more stunning approaches I've ever experienced to a location. Um. Uh, it is 10 miles down this crazy, bumpy road, which is totally worth the drive, by the way. Do it. It's worth it. It's totally worth it. Yes, you're going to want to make sure everything you own is secured, but I'll tell you what. You, woo! Okay, there went my brushes. <laughs> That's all right. I still have a bunch of miles to go, but I am getting closer to my turn off. These beautiful approaches, I mean, honestly, like this alone is worth traveling to this spot. Just this view alone. Oh, magnificent. These are the Dragoon Mountains. And I'll tell you what, this is a spot that if I do, you know, come back to this area again, oh yeah, I'll be staying here. You know, this is so worth it. I wanted to film this approach to our campsite here that we found on iOverlander. It is such an amazing site. Now, as I turn the corner here, to the right there is the original campsite. And, of course, we went further down the road. I did take the opportunity to speed up this footage. So, no, I was not driving this fast down the road. 
But yes, this may very well have been the road that bent my muffler. <laughs> Especially now that I look back at this footage. Oh my gosh. That riv that what rut in the road was so deep. This this camera is not showing you. Um and the focus it took for me to be able to drive this straddling it uh it was it was pretty intense and every single time i drove this road my heart was pounding in my chest talk about a dopamine adrenaline rush <laughs> so we came down to this cul-de-sac which i'll show you in a second but i wanted to show you first before i forgot it's awesome see the path goes right up to the mountain isn't that awesome? You can see this is a wash. And this is the other campground spot that's down this crazy steep road that I came to the top of last night. But look how nice it is down here. This would be a great place in the summer. As long as it's not raining. Yeah. Because this is a wash. I mean, this is a floodplain for sure. So, I wouldn't want to be down here if it was flooding. Uh, and here, we see this side path. Looks like someone's cutting a new road in. Because the other one's so washed out. But look at that. Isn't that amazing? And you can see, definitely floodplain, but... What a great place to camp. Oh, just everywhere you look. Gorgeous. I know. <laughs> and there's what I am calling the booby. But you can't really tell it's the booby from this angle. See, there's the booby. And see now, there's like a little, where's my finger? There it is. See that there? Joanne says that it's a finger touching the booby. But how cool is this place? Every once in a while I see giants, but this time it's just a giant booby. Well, thank you so much for joining me today at this beautiful location at the Dragoon Mountains, located northeast of Tombstone, Arizona, as you can see there at the foot of these beautiful mountains. We encountered all of this gorgeous weather, which didn't feel so gorgeous, as you heard, and I got wonderful images. I look forward to painting more of them as I travel through some warmer climates now. If you'd like to fund the journey, you can find links below to do that in my Patreon, as well as through my PayPal. You can go to my Instagram if you're interested in purchasing either one of those paintings. Both are available. Another beautiful view. And I'll take you out with this gorgeous sunset that we had. Ugh, magnificent. I'm truly getting to live my best life. We'll see you next time, everyone, when I take you into downtown Tombstone. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.